like it showed. Make sure they're going the right direction. Line that up. It's gotta go right. Lobe's gotta go inside that gear. Battery in. Is that? Right. Basically, warnings. Put the chain around the bar. Ensure the chain is in the correct running direction according to the chain icon. Referring to the chain. Put the chain around the drive sprocket. A fasting bar pull and two bar locking tabs are fitting into the keyway opening the guide make sure all parts are seated properly and make sure the drive links are fully seated in the drive sprocket avoid kinking grip chain guide yeah, the kinks change should chain should rotate freely. Hmm. Put the chain cover tightly over them by turning the chain tension um, clockwise until hand tight. Auto tension tightening check. Patented auto tension system puts an end to common chainsaw woes. Simple, sim simple, single step process of turning tension knob is all that is needed to adjust the chain. Turn the chain tensioning knob clockwise until it is hand tight. Tension is automatic, automatically increases while chain tensioning knob is being turned clockwise. Built in ratchet mechanism prevents the chain tensioning from loosening. Okay. Change temper is probably tension when it can be lifted. The guide bar and chain is properly tensioned. When it can be lifted off the guide bar and the drive link is within the rail, the drive link is within the rail of the guide link. Alright, so see, so lift it up and it stays within it. So the tensioner is working. Okay. So next up, we get the the bar oil in there, and we will be ready to do some cutting because I got a lot of stuff to cut. Um. So right. All right. I'm gonna. I'm going to go ahead and plug that battery in real quick. Always keep that chain away from you. So, like I said, this takes between four and eight hours to charge. Now, I, haven't got any, I haven't got any bar oil on here, so I'm just going just gonna to push the button real quick, make sure it rotates. And then i uh, got to get bar oil in here and get that that chain chain loom so let's see what happens there she goes okay we gotta get some I gotta get some bar oil on that thing and 
We'll get it, uh, get it out there and see what she can do. The first thing you need to do is make sure you put, you got to have your bar oil, and that's what goes in here, which would normally be a gas tank or a chainsaw. And then uh, it's got a nice, it's got your full, your level on it. This is premium bar oil, Johnson's. You can get basically any, any bar oil. You can see how thin that is. Watch it. Fill up. That's full. It's probably about six or eight ounces. And tighten it down. Now, of course, the bar here hasn't got anything on it at all. So I would recommend we tap it down just a, put just a little bit on it. In fact, I might want to spray some lithium on it right now. But um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a little bit of bar oil on it. It is light. It's lighter than a regular chainsaw. see how this thing works. There it goes. I rotate it a little bit. Alright. A little bit more. A little bit more on there. I'm so used to Gas ones, you gotta, you know, boom, boom. And then when you apply, apply the pressure, it's gonna go off instantly because you're firing. So just a little bit slower. from the coming from wherever it's being moved from. Wipe this off. You don't get the you don't get the fun of hearing it hearing it uh whine. And it's not it's not going to be as powerful. I'm sure, with the CCs, CCs of that motor are equivalent to when it comes to the chain to the regular chainsaw. So let's see. Let's go try this thing out, and uh, we'll see how it works. Let's go uh, cut something. I got a lot of stuff I got to cut. I'm gonna go down here real quick and cut the arms off this pear tree. I've got two pear trees now that are dead. Pooey, where are you? Poo! Poo! Where are you? Oop, there goes the rabbit. There goes the bunny. It must be Earl. You gonna go get Earl? Go chase Earl. All right. Let's see how this works. Get your guard off. Always wear glasses. Good idea to wear gloves. But 
it's above my head. Here we go. Very nice, okay. Fourth of July. Get my Fourth of July pile over here. It's gonna be a week from now. I gotta get out here and get that cloth off of there because you don't want to burn that. Very toxic. But as you can see, I got I got two pear trees that I gotta come down. Just wanted to try that. See what happens. It's light, it's over my head. Nice. You can take it anywhere. You can take this any anywhere any, anywhere. Nice thing about it. Make sure you got charged battery. Um, I know the battery on the, uh, we're using the weed eater out here. I get a good 30 minutes of use out of that. All right, here we go. 